The way that I coped when I received my diagnosis was uh, an immediate uh, uh, withdrawal, basically. I withdrew from people, I withdrew from my social scene, I withdrew from my friends. Uh, I got very into my, into my house and my job and uh, really didn't go anywhere or communicate with anybody. And then um, as, as they went on, as time went on, um, I read a lot of stuff and, and I realized that this is a manageable disease, uh, not unlike diabetes. And my sister actually turned me on to that whole idea because she has had diabetes for a long time and it's a killer. It, you know, you can die from, from that disease, just as you can from HIV. So I kind of changed my thought process to look at it as a manageable disease and to um, not condemn myself so much for it because, uh, you know, when I was diagnosed, there was an awful lot of negativity surrounding uh, this diagnosis. and. You know, I tried to date for a while, and people would just didn't want anything, anything to do with me, especially when I came out and said, "Well, I'm HIV positive, so we have to take appropriate measures." Um, the way I cope with that is I just uh, stopped uh, dating people who had that kind of attitude. Uh, I had to tell them right up front, "Look, I'm HIV positive. Does that bother you? If it did, then okay, see you later." And if it didn't, then let's go. Let's see how this goes and, and, and see what kind of fun we can have. Uh, in terms of, uh, I'm no longer, I, don't, I no longer have a terminal um, attitude about my life, uh, and that, uh, and that's partly why, because I look at it as a, a treatable disease, and I'm just not going to go there.